Hello, I'm going to show you how to take your 3D Studio Max model and convert it to a Quake 1 model MDL file. Alright, let's open up the model you made in 3D Studio Max. This is a rocket launcher I made based off of uh, Dox's design for Quake World Team Fortress. Alright. Um, first, we got to convert the texture to Quake 1 palette. Let's do that with PaintShop Pro. Um, one second. Alright, now we need to change it to Quake 1 palette. You can download it from my website, st3ady.com, in the tools section. Uh, now the color becomes a little washed out. That's fine. Alright. We're going to save it as a bitmap. Bring up the materials editor. export it. So select it. Before we export it we got to select all the polys and turn it inside out by clicking flip. Alright, now we can export. So it just told me that the uh, file name was too long. So we'll just call it this. Okay, cool. So now let's export it. Alright, now we need to open it up in a program called Quick 3D. Open it. Alright. Let's do save as. We need to save it as a .mdl for the Quick. And whatever you save in this program comes out as shareware output.mdl. It's fine. Okay. Let's close that. Now we're going to open up what we saved in QME. Open shareware output.mdl. Alright, we're going to import skin. And this is it. Okay. And if you can see, the texture is on there, but it's not correct. What happened is uh, Quick 3D flipped it vertically. So we got to go back into HOP Pro. Flip it, click save, and now do import skin, get it, open it, load it, and it's good to go now. 
Alright, so I hope this helps you, and let's see some new Quake 1 mods. Have a good one.